Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Entomology Josh, and this is another episode of Entomology. Yes, I did come up with that name right after the last video, and yes, I am too lazy to change it, so here we are. Today, we are going to be looking at this guy right here. That is Tenthredo Arcuata, I think, and that's what we're going to talk about today. So, let's get him out. So this is my Tenthredo Arcuata specimen, and it's the second in my collection. It was collected on the 27th of May 2018 on some cow parsley in Tangmere, nearby where I live. Let's look at the labels. As discussed in the last episode, the labels give an idea of when it was collected, where it's collected, and what insect it is. So, as you can see, it's collected in the UK, West Sussex, Tangmere, 27th of May 2018, and collected by me. That is me, because I collected it. And it is in the order Hymenoptera, which is the order of bees, wasps, ants, and sawflies. It's in the family Tenthredinidae, which is the family of common sawflies. And it is a Tenthredo arcuata. I spelt that wrong, as I found out today. And I like to add symbols of what gender it is. So, as you can see, this is female. So, how can you tell that you, in fact, have a Tenthredo arcuata? Well, unless you are an absolute expert, you can't. My specimen, I forgot to measure it. My specimen is about a centimetre long, but they can be as small as eight millimetres long. They have a yellowy green body with a black head and thorax, and the upside of the ab abdomen has yellow stripes. The wings are pale with long brown pterostigmas on the sides of its wings. Pterostigmas are these bits, and basically what they are is that there are a group of specialized cells found in many orders of insects, most commonly odonatans, which are dragonflies and damselflies, that are heavier than other cells in order to assist uh, in balance with flying. Without the pterostigma, the flutter of the wings, which is the wings moving back and forth, would make gliding impossible, so it's very useful to have those. There are three similar species to this, all within the Tenthredo genus. We have Tenthredo Ravicornis, Tenthredo Notha, and Tenthredo Schaeferi, and obviously Tenthredo Arcuata. Now, they all look very similar, so how do you maybe distinguish from them? Well. To distinguish Arcuata from Brevcornis, Arcuata has more rounded mandibles, and they're narrower at the tip than at the base. And that the same goes for Schaeferi. Um, Notha has grooves on the hypopigium, and if you're wondering, the hypopigium is the ninth tergite, which has been modified for reproduction. What's a tergite? Good question. It's sections of abdomen that slide over each other. So they all look very similar, especially when not viewed under a microscope, such as now, or when you're outside. Because they're so similar, entomologists have grouped them all together into a group called uh, Tenthredo Arcuata Aggregate. Handy, I know. Like the skull lily beetle from the last episode, this specimen is quite old. So old, in fact, it is missing the tarsi of the left middle and right middle leg, and the tibia and tarsi of the right hind leg. Very handy when you want a complete specimen. Now, unfortunately, not much is known about these guys because people don't seem to research sawflies, but this is the research I do have. Firstly, the larvae are nocturnal feeders that feed on white clover, trifolium repens, and common bird's foot trefoil, Lotus corniculatus. They emerge as adults in April to July, and they feed on small insects and nectar of pollen and flowers of umberfellas, common bistort, uh, Polygonum bistorta, Tansy, Tanacetum vulgare, and Guelderose, Viburnum opulus. They are found throughout the UK and are relatively common, and you're most likely to see them in grasslands and other clover dense habitats. Thank you for watching the second episode of Entomology where we looked at Tenthredo arcuata. I hope you enjoyed, learnt something new, and to see you next time where we will be taking a look at Harpalus rufipes, aka the strawberry seed beetle. Goodbye.